Hello to all of my one, two, threes. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to get into a general reading for the collective sign of Pisces. Pisces, I did a few readings off camera and I just saw a patty playground, honey. I saw a patty playground and I saw a judgmental jungle. So we're going to see what that meant. I say, let me find out party. I mean, uh, Pisces is trying to participate. I mean, trying to see if they want to participate in the petty playground. <laughs> look, look at the bottom. <laughs> I haven't even shoveled yet. This is what I saw. This is what I saw. A petty playground. Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody who's very petty, you know, sort of like lacking wanting to do the work themselves so try to like i guess be petty with passing something on you or trying to get you to do something for them and participate it's like a petty playground people are very petty and competitive that's what i oh my goodness and as soon as i opened it up i saw the mm -hmm, judgmental jungle and petty playground that's what i'm gonna name this reading Mm. All right, let's get into it and see. That is exactly, look, I cracked the cards open and that's exactly what was there. Okay, let's see what else is coming out for my Pisces. These are general. Take what applies to you. Leave the rest cross watches. You're welcome here. Look, Ace of Pentacles. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody's trying to block an offer. What I tell you? Petty Playground. Uh-huh. I don't know what area of this is in your life. Somebody's trying to participate. Look, the cards, they going to come out on the, um, the food card. Mm. Four cups and the knight of cups. Somebody wants you to move in another direction and show something else attention. Um, this is someone I feel like they're hoping you are going to turn something down. Or they're hoping you don't get some sort of offer or something. You know why, Pisces? Someone, they, whoever this is, they didn't get something. So they're hoping you don't get it. That you don't get an offer. They may have the oppor they may have had the opportunity to take something. And they may have turned it down. And when you took it, or Maybe someone discussed it like, okay, you don't want it, so I'm going to offer it to this Pisces. Because this Knight of Cups can speak of an emotional opportunity coming your way. Or something that they feel like someone will make you, they feel like it'll make you emotionally happy. But now this person is like, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Let me see. They turned something down, Pisces. What is that? The Empress card here. Mm. They felt like they were too good for an opportunity. So they turned it down. But now that you're being considered for it, they want it. They're trying to prevent you from it. Maybe it's no longer on the table for them. Let me see. Knight of Pentacles here. Hmm. Yeah, they moved in another direction because they felt like they either already had everything they needed or I feel like this person didn't know you were going to be offered something. They figured they were the only option or or something. So this offer is coming in your direction. Whoever took a took a chance on them, took some sort of leap of faith on them, they turned it down. And now the person is like, okay, you didn't want it. So let me see if Pisces want it. Seven of Wands, this person, they don't want you to take it because they feel like it's going to give you some sort of advantage. They feel like it's going to increase your popularity in some way. Or you're going to be looked at as like a winner of something. It's going to help you get over obstacles. 
What in the world is this? High priests, they don't want you to know about it. They do not want you to know about an offer coming in. They, for some reason, they may be even telling you like, you know, yeah, I was offered that first. I was the first choice. But I didn't want it. Something like that. It's like the high priestess is in reverse. So there's an underlining. There's some sort of secret. Something they want you to not know about. Something they want to keep, you know. They either don't. It's like they don't want you to know how badly they want it now. Because I kind of feel like they turned it down. And now they're looking at it like they kind of regret turning it down because they now you're up for consideration. They don't want you to really know how bad they want this offer to come. So they're actually hiding how they really feel. They've been in their mind a lot about this. I don't know what this is in your life, Pisces. But, mm-hmm. Yep. Some sort of petty playground. They've been in their mind about this. Thinking about it repetitively. They wish they wouldn't have turned something down. We're about to clarify these cards and see what comes out. Mm -mm. On the bottom of the deck, you have the devil card here. This is some sort of toxic person that you're dealing with. They in your energy, Pisces. I don't know who they are. This is somebody who felt like they were more powerful than what they really were. They felt like they had control of the situation and that they could turn something down. This person has a problem with, they're like, um, they are petty with power. And now I don't know what that power is. The power, it could be the, the way that they communicate, um, it could be in a position that they're in. It could be in a relationship. But when they get a, just a drop of power, they become petty with it, a tyrant or something. Yeah, I'm going to put this devil card aside mm, up under that queen of swords. Yeah, this person is kind of like... Mm, mm, mm. They're very judgmental too, Pisces. They're whoever this is. I, I feel like, like I said, judgmental jungle. They're very judgmental of you. This is a person who watches you obsessively. This is a person who watches everything about you. They watch your hair. They watch your clothes. They watch your look right up. I what it keep coming out. It look at what's look at what's right up under here. I, it look and then the ten of swords right up under there. I'm trying to tell you, you're dealing with somebody who is is this like I said, judgmental jungle. They're they're in competition with you, Pisces. Really competitive, in competition with you. Petty is I don't know what. Um, yeah, and very judgmental of you. They even have, this person has inner, uh, inner issues. For some reason, I don't feel like you see them as, as competition, but they see you as competition. And it's like they have a group that they are judging. This, some, this is a group. That sits around and judge you harshly. They're obsessed with everything about your life though. I don't feel like they're making the right of some. Uh, they're assuming something about you. The chariot car is something that they feel like uh, moved very quickly. They moved very quickly with, with turning something down. And they're regretting it now. And it was offered to you. So they don't want this. They don't want you to see that they really do want it. They moved very fast. Pisces, they also know something about. Something about what this offer, where it could take you or what it could do for you. They're more focused on your, where you're going to go with this offer than where they could have been gone with it. Damn, they eyeball hustling hard. You have the Knight of Cups here again. I 
I feel like this person may have turned down an offer because of a relationship. Now, I don't know what kind of relationship was, would it, you know, whether it was a job relationship or whether it was a, like a, um, personal relationship, but this is why they looked at something else as better. So they turned down some sort of offer that came into them and they did it quickly. There's some sort of regret behind it now. Four of Pentacles. Four Cups and Four of Pentacles. This person, I feel like something is going on with their finances. If this was job related, maybe they felt like they were going to be paid more money or something at another job and things are kind of tight right now. So this could be why they um, regret turning down an offer. Maybe they didn't get what they thought they were going to get after out of something or the relationship isn't if it's a love relationship, the person who they're who they're with. Maybe they made promises like, oh, you don't have to really work because I, I got most of the bills or I'm going to pay most of the bills or something. And now they're they're feeling financially stuck. Maybe that person didn't really step up the way that they thought they did. There's something pertaining to what you this. Let me see. Three of Cups. They feel like if something is offered to you, you're going to. um excel at it this is they may be trying to talk you out of accepting it like oh they offered it to me first i just turned it down because a b c d and e is wrong with it it's like somebody is trying to turn you away from an offer and the reason i'm saying that turn you away because this is the three of cups this is one cup that's like four cups that's saying no to something they want you to say no to some sort of offer coming in, but they're not the high priestess is in reverse. They don't want you to see their real intentions on why this person is a little too patty. I don't know with it, where this is in your life, whether this is family, personal related or job related. Let me see. You have the ace of swords here. See, they saw something after the fact. They saw the value in something after the fact. They felt like they had so many better options. Or they felt like something, they're, they are in a better position or something. But if they're in such a good position, why are they watching you so hard though? If they're so, if what they went to is so much better, if they're so much happier, um, if they're so, you know, high up on the, on, on some sort of either professional level or in a personal relationship, why are they obsessed with watching you? Apparently something isn't as good as they're making it out to be. They're not as, they're nowhere near as happy as they're pretending to be. You know, I can always pick up on a person if they're truly happy or not, just in their, the way that they handle or do things, how they operate, you know? They don't want you to see something for what it really is. Mm-hmm. Five of Wands again, it keep coming out. I told you a petty playground. This is the whoever this is, Pisces, they're trying to prevent an offer from coming your way by doing a lot of petty stuff. You could be dealing with up to five people. This person needs to do a lot of self-reflecting because they're involving people who are also petty. I don't know where this is in your life, what part of your life this is, but you're dealing, you're you're playing in a petty playground with some judgmental and some you're in some sort of judgmental jungle. They're looking at every aspect of your life judging you, whoever this is. <clears throat> One thing about that five of wands too, that also can speak of like, 
I kind of feel like they even secretly don't really care for each other. There's issues between them as well. These are people who will do anything not to look in the mirror at their own stuff. So it's just easier to focus almost obsessively, get everyone to focus on you in a negative way. It's easier for them to do that than to look at their own screw ups. That's why I say, I see it. I'm telling you, a petty playground and a judgmental gym. Mm. They do not want you to accept some sort of offer, though. Is some someone there is a okay, so you know what, Pisces? There's a main person in here that turned something down. There's a there's like a um it's like a main person with everyone else kind of following a bunch of getwits. Everyone else is sort of following, but there is definitely a main person who turns something down that I feel like either you, either they turned it down and it was offered to you and you have it. And this is where all this pettiness and judgmental behavior is coming in, or either they're trying to talk you out of accepting it. So maybe you haven't accepted it yet. And they're trying to tell you, like show you all the negative sides. So hoping you'll turn it down. I don't know where this is in your life, though, Pisces. They feel like something is going to make you look too good. Uh-huh. You have the two of cups here. Plus, they feel like you're going to like it once you really, you know, if you accept it or they feel like it's going to make you happy in some way. And they also feel like it's going to give you some sort of advantage or you're going to see something from a different perspective, possibly even see them and their messiness, their judgmental ways or their... um their uh, pettiness from a different perspective. This is what they, it's like they don't like your status in some way. So maybe you already did accept something and they're trying to create a lot of conflict around this. Someone sees you as a good fit for it though. I don't know what this is. You have the two, you have two of cups here. Maybe it was offered to you twice or there's something about the number two that's significant, but you have the two of cups here. So <clears throat> it does look like, or you, they could be saying you were second in line or something like, oh, they offered it to me first. You were second choice. But you know what to do with something. And this is where there, this is why all of this confusion is trying to be placed around you. All this petty behavior. Lord have mercy, Pisces. You are you dealing with adults or are you dealing with children? Because I got a daggone jungle gym. <laughs> You're being judged real harshly over this camp. I don't know where you are in your life, but I don't know who this is. They judging you real harshly now. That has a lot to do with their inner um, insecurities too. I can, I'm going to tell you, the energy I'm getting, Pisces, is that they really don't care for each other. It's just that I don't know whether you're new on the scene or whether you had some sort of upgrade in your life in some way. And now they're paying attention to it. I have no clue, but I feel like there's issues between each other. If you move out the way, they're still going to have these issues because they do a lot of ref like projecting. They look at none of these people looking in the mirror. None of them. None of them. Everyone is looking away. No one wants to really look at themselves. It's just easier to focus on being toxic and pointing out everything wrong with you. You know, this is wrong. That's wrong. This is wrong. Somebody, I don't know who turned this down, but they're looking at it. They had some sort of epiphany moment. They figured something else was way better. And I do feel like they're in a very good spot. I feel like they, so... If they decided to go to a relationship, right, Pisces, maybe they got married Maybe because that Empress card could speak of a marriage. Maybe they got married. Maybe they got in a relationship, right? I feel like whoever they're with, 
there is is probably a, a pretty good person. If this is a job, they're in a pretty good position, right? But there, there's a lot of greed and obsession going on here. This is why this devil card came out. There's a lot of greed. It's a lot of nosiness. It's a lot of petty behavior. Um, toxic behavior, very judgmental, controlling, abuse of power in some way. And it has, and this is why they can't even enjoy where they are. If they're in a new relationship, they're still so worried about what you are having, who you're dating, who you're connected to. Are you happy emotionally? They're still, they're a little too obsessed with what's going on with you. This is how you can tell no matter what kind of good stuff is happening in this person's life, they don't know how to appreciate it. Because they're so busy focused on causing chaos. You know, when people happy in their life, they don't try to set up gaslighting uh, uh, situations or um, all of this. Let me try to keep you on your toes. And they don't have time for that because they're too busy focusing on the good things in their life and allowing you to gradually do what you have to do to settle in something. They want you to, most people, if you're in something, they want you to feel welcome. They want you to feel happy, comfortable, so you can vibrate and be your best self. But when you have this here, this misery here, this is nothing but misery. I told you it's a judgmental jungle jam, a judgmental jungle and petty playground. Mm -hmm. When you have this here, I don't care what you're doing. You're going to have people trying to point out everything that's wrong with you. I don't care how high up on the ladder they make it career-wise. I don't care what kind of position of power they're in. I don't care how if they're married and, and they have a, a wonderful spouse none or in a good relationship and have a wonderful spouse. None of that matters because this person isn't happy inside. And they've somehow connected with other miserable mayhem. <laughs> it's They've also connected to other people who I kind of feel like some of these people are just going along to get along. They know what they're doing is really petty and toxic, but they don't care. You know, it's just like, oh, let me go along to get along because the attention isn't on me. So I don't mind it being on this Pisces, you know, I'll participate as long as I can keep the attention off of me. So if this person is in a relationship and this is family or something like that, this may be other family members that's just going along to get along. You have the King of Swords here. Yeah, something that you don't want to know. Somebody's going to slip up and speak the truth <laughs> anyway. The truth can bear, I'm telling you, it's so obvious that someone don't, they want you to turn something down or don't want you to be happy in a position or happy in some sort of relationship that you're in, some sort of connection. Because again, this this people always look at the Knight of Cups as like um, a relationship, but it can also be an opportunity. And then you have the Three of Cups here that also speaks of emotions and things like that. So someone doesn't want you to be emotionally happy somewhere, hoping you'll say no or possibly leave it alone or won't accept it at all. Um, but you're going to see, but they're hiding the real reason that's behind this. They're hiding some sort of the true meaning of all of this, you know, like I almost get like child children in adult bodies, childlike minds in adult bodies. You have the king of swords here. This, the truth is going to come out. Some sort of honesty is going to, something is going to be made clear. Mm -hmm. You're going to find out the hidden reason why someone is behaving this way. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles here. You're going to be able to plan accordingly after finding out the truth about this. I don't know what this is, though. If this is relationship wise, Pisces, and you just have some people that's like this person could be married or they may be in a long term relationship, but they're concerned about what's going on in your personal life. And that is some really weird energy. Something about you is being judged. It could have something to do with your sexuality. It could have something to do with um, your gender or something. It's something that they're discussing. 
about your who you are personally. And that's at the root of them, but they're hiding it. It's going to come out anyway. And you're going to be able to plan accordingly and sort of move forward. Look, they, they want you to lose something, but the five of pentacles in, is in reverse. So you're going to actually gain something. There's some sort of gain from them behaving like this. You got the five of pentacles in reverse and you got the nine of pentacles. This is like the six of pentacles. This is the good you do coming back to you. And look, right up under that, you got the magician card. Boom.com, Pisces up under that. You have queen of uh, wands here and then a nine of cups i'm trying to tell you what's meant for you is meant for you so all of this stuff that this petty behavior you know you're in some sort of petty playground this could be family related where you're dealing with certain family members and they may even be married behaving like this all worried about what you're doing who you're dating who you're in a relationship with you know did you meet someone who is going to outdo their spouse or do more for you is your person going to do more for you than what their spouse does for them and all of this kind of childlike behavior i mean if this is on the job this is just you know you have some people being very petty trying to they want you to let something go or either don't accept like turn something down this is where this all of this confusion is being but they all of this confusion is being put in place but this has a lot to do look none of these energies will look in the mirror at themselves it's just easier to focus on you like in a real upset they obsess someone is obsessed with you there's a ring leader here leading there's a ring leader here and if you see the devil card, it's two other energy. So it's like a ring leader. And then there are two other people who are who's attached to this ring leader. And then you may have there's like two other people here, you know. So you have like a ring leader. You have these two other people who refuse to look in the mirror. They're just attached to this ring leader and going along to get along. So this, if this is a relationship, this is someone who it's like their relationship. They have to be, they're like the head of the, or the in charge of the relationship. So they may have their significant other, but then they're, they encourage their kids or, you know, someone else in the family to behave this way. If this is, if this is a situation where it's kind of like, um, at a job, there's some sort of ring leader with two, there's the, you, it's two energies behind this, this toxic energy here, but it's two. So this person is encouraging two other people to behave in a very negative way or to keep an eye on you. But there's also two other energies involved in this too. No one's doing any self-reflecting because they're too busy, uh, focusing on you no one is doing self-reflecting looking at their own screw-ups looking at their own in insecurities or whatever because they're too hell-bent on focused on focusing on pointing out everything wrong with you or i told you trying to be petty being petty a petty playground being judgmental judgmental jungle you have the sun card here there's something about this person's ego. There's someone there. This person has a really big ego. They moved very quickly due to their ego. You know, they felt like something was so much better. A situation was so much better for them. Or they're in some sort of high position because that song card could speak of like high levels of success. That chariot is like someone who controls things. They control the direction of the way things go. So this, this kind of, this person has a huge ego. And something about, I don't know why they're focused on you so much though. That's the weird part. They shouldn't be this obsessed with you you have the queen of swords uh-oh uh-oh the queen of swords is in reverse this is somebody i don't like this i don't like this reading pisces 
Because this is somebody who tell malicious lies. They will do anything. So if this is job related, this is even somebody who will try to get you fired by making you look really bad on the job. If this is in a relationship, they don't have a problem. Like if you just recently met someone and things are going well for you, they don't have a problem with making you look really bad to your new person. The Queen of Swords in reverse tell vicious lies. They tell very dangerous lies. They will do anything to try. I told you this person don't want you to have something. They either, either you already accepted it and they're upset about you being happy. You could have united with something or connected with something, combined with something with this two of cups that made you emotionally happy. And you may get a lot of attention because of that, you know? So if you're in a couple, if you're in a relationship, you all may look very well together. You may compliment each other very well. But if this is on the job, you may be in some sort of position where you're, because if you look, this, this energy is high up, is high up. And then there's other energies coming at this one energy, you know? So it's like somebody, they're trying to knock this person off their throne. Yeah, so someone is willing to do, they're willing to do or say anything because they don't want you to be happy in some sort of position. Maybe they turned it down or, you know, um, I'm going to tell you, if this is a relationship, you and you're dating someone, Pisces, this may have been someone who... It's almost as if they try to talk to this person first and this person turned them down. Maybe they felt like they had a better situation with and married someone else. And now this person is years could have gone by, you know, and you may have met this person without even knowing they know them. Or that they, you know, made an attempt to date them or something. I don't even feel like it was anything serious. They may have just tried to, you know, like, can I take you out? And your person and whoever this this heavy energy is over here said no. Maybe they were engaged to get married to someone else. But it's like they didn't want the person, but they don't want you to have the person even if they're already married. It's weird energy. So they may even be going to this person telling them like all kind of horrible lies about you to make sure you don't, you all don't date because they feel like you're going to be happy together, even though they're already married or in some sort of big relationship or heavy relationship or something. You have the sun card here. They have a huge ego. And they are obsessed with either your work life or your love life. They've been trying to create a lot of conflict around you too. And no one involved, all the people that's involved in this, none of them will do any self-reflecting and look at themselves and ask themselves, why do we have, why are we behaving like this towards this Pisces? Why are we just believing every malicious lie? I mean, it's like a bunch of brainless you know, everybody, let's just follow the leader. No one has a brain of their own. Just going along to get along. The star car here. Yes, yeah, someone, I feel like you, this person made some sort of, um, They turn something down with someone that they feel like is going to make you happy. They even feel like this other person is going to be a better fit for you than they would have ever been for them. And they turned it down. They feel like you're going to be happy with someone who could have even tried to date them maybe, you know, decades ago, years ago or something. This person is a greedy person. They, It's like, okay, I know I'm married, but I don't want you to date that Pisces. I can't have you, but I don't want you to date them either. I don't want them to have you. You like that kind of energy? Really, Patty? 
trying to get other people involved, maybe telling other people, let's all group together and lie, make up malicious lies on this Pisces so they don't only hear it coming from me. So it'll make it seem like it got to be true because it's coming from a number of people. And these people are willing to participate. They're willing to just go along to get along. Maybe they fear this person though. Maybe they fear this ringleader for some reason because they're kind of going along in a brainless way. They're not challenging it at all. They're like, okay, whatever you say. <laughs> you know, I got a problem with Pisces too. You know, it, I mean, wow. But they do feel like this, whoever this is, it's like, you know, they're trying to, um, you know, kind of just, they don't want to see this person make you happy. It's like they don't want to see your wish coming true. If this is job related, again, remember I said they could be telling you everything that's wrong with the job or, you know, you shouldn't accept it. They're offering you this, but they offered it to me first. You shouldn't accept it. It's not a good position. It's not that they're going to tell you everything that's wrong with it. If you've already accepted it, they may be trying to make it harder on you than it should be, hoping you'll quit or hoping you'll give it up hoping you'll say if I don't know if it, there's some sort of like probationary period where you haven't decided on whether you want to accept it permanently or not they may just be trying to make things harder so you could say no you don't want it very petty energy but it's due to some sort of underlining issue that they're not saying I feel like it with all of these cups here it's something emotionally but I feel like it has either something to do with your gender or your, your sex, who you're intimate with, or something. It's something that has to do with that. And they don't want you in something because of your gender or your who you date or something. I don't know. Mm. Very judgmental, though. Judgmental to the point is toxic. Seven of rods here. Yeah, this is someone who has the upper hand. They feel like Pisces. I'm gonna tell you something. This 15, I mean, this is the seven of rods can also speak of someone getting their 15 minutes of fame. So someone feels like you're trying to steal the spotlight from them. If you're on a job, they feel like you know you're trying to steal the spotlight from them. If you if this is a relationship, they feel like you're going to have such a good relationship, it's going to take the attention off of their marriage. This is a I'm gonna tell you, this is a really weird reading. It's I'm oh my good, this is kind of weird, Pisces, because no one should be this obsessed with what you're doing in your personal life if they're already married or in some sort of relationship they should not be concerned about who you're dating even if the person did try to talk to them you know uh, uh years ago decades ago they're married so why do they care or they're in already in a relationship so it shouldn't matter but if this is job related. It looks like they're already in a, a high position or in some sort of really good position or something. So they shouldn't care what you're doing or what you accept. But they feel like for some reason it's going to they maybe they feel like you already get enough attention and you being in some sort of position is going to bring you even more attention. It's going to take that, you know, it's like. Oh, I can do that job better. I can, I did that job. I do that job better. <laughs> you know, they, it's something about the 15 minutes of fame that this person is, I don't know. This is weird energy. You're going to find out the true reason behind something though. I feel like it's either gender or sex based. It has something to do with your relationships in life. As to the root cause, and that could be a relationship that you have 
Um, maybe you're in the same sex relationship and they're being judgmental over that, or you're not in a same sex relationship and they're extremely judgmental over that. There's something or your gender or something that they have an issue with, but there's a, there's something about this. So this Eve, okay. So for instance, if it's a gender thing, this may be someone who just doesn't like, it could be women who don't like you as a woman, you know, um, Maybe they're used to getting all the attention or something. If it's, you know, if you're a man, it could be men who don't like you because maybe they feel like other women. I don't know. It's something going on, but it's pertaining to either your gender or who or your your um who you're dating. Like maybe if you're dating the same gender or that it's something like that. Now you have the King of Cups here. This is that mature energy, Pisces. So I do see whatever this is, it's going to put you, once you find out the truth about the root cause of how these people feel or why they're behaving some kind of way or why they want you to turn, if this is job related, why they don't want you there or why they want you to turn something down. Once you find out the truth, you're going to be able to move into a planning st state. And this, uh, a planning stage with this Knight of Pentacles, I see you making plans for something. And this King of Cups speaks of maturity. It speaks of healing it speaks of like um you know uh emotional maturity so and this is your card pisces so i do see you being able to really deal with this you know maybe they feel because i feel like you're almost dealing like i said like almost like childlike energy um people who are very childish uh, their obsession with you is really weird. It's, oh my goodness, is it weird? Okay, but let's see what else. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards to see what else comes out. Hmm. And if this is in a relationship, this is someone who needs to focus on their relationship. They should not be too concerned about who you're with. Acceptance. I'm learning to accept things that I cannot change. Yes, yeah, some this person, um, they want to change how someone see you. They, if you're in a relation, if you're dating someone, is talking about they want to date you. It's like they need to accept something. Why are they so obsessed with who wants to date you or what kind of job you have or what you're doing on the job? It's something that they they have. They made some sort of decision in their life and they're still complaining. And I feel like whatever decision they made actually upgraded their life and they're still not happy. That within itself speaks volumes about their character and who they are. That's why they're so petty. I told you I heard at the beginning of the reading, a uh, uh, um, judgmental jungle and a petty playground. So they're really, they need to figure out why, no matter what position they're in, why they are so focused on trying to mess you up or don't want you to accept a position or they need to ask themselves if they're married, why are they concerned about who you're dating or who wants to date you? You have um, adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yes. Yeah, so something about, you know, Pisces, I'm going to tell you something. There is some sort of valuable lesson in everyone involved in this because I do feel like Things are going to work out well for you with this Knight of Pentacles and this uh, King of Cups here in some area. It's still going to work out very well for you because you're vibrating in a very mature energy. But I'm going to tell you something. Remember I said, if you just move out the way, like just say, okay, if this is job related and you have, you may have some better options on the table where you're like, you know what? I don't even have to deal with this. Like I look, okay, all, all the, this is unnecessary. So maybe you have another, another. it could be another position in the company that you can move on to or something, or maybe you have another job offer on the table that you feel like will be better, you know, more up your speed where you don't have to go through this level of pettiness and childish behavior. I do feel like you're going to kind of lead these people to their own devices. And something about the malicious lies they're telling on you, it's kind of going to make them, people look at them in some kind of way. 
you know? So the behavior that they are projecting on you, they need to be looking at themselves and looking in the mirror, but they're going to have to learn about adversity. You know, accepting challenges is the best way to learn. Why is, why are you such a issue for them? What is it? Instead of them coming out, just being honest about it, I, now, if it's gender issue, they could be worried about like, you know, being sued for discrimination or something. And if it has something to do with your personal life, people on the outside may be looking at it like, you're married. Why do you care about what's going on with this Pisces? Sorry about the noise in the background. Okay. So it's like people are going to be asking them like, why are you so worried about who this Pisces day? You didn't want the person and they in Pisces and them seem to be doing very well. Plus you're married. Why do you care? Or you're in a long-term relationship where your life is upgraded. Why do you care? You know? So it's like this person doesn't want the truth to come out because it doesn't put them in the best light with their behavior towards you. It really don't. It makes them look jealous. It makes them look petty. It makes them look very judgmental of you. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah. So there is something Pisces where you're going to find out the truth about this situation. You are definitely, it's going to be revealed. And I do feel like this is a situation where if you find out this person tried to, you may be like, why are they all up in our business like this? And they, you know, your person may say, well, you know, back in the day I did try to um, date that person, you know? So you may, I don't know whether you're going to feel some kind of way like, oh, that's why they're behaving like this because you tried to they did you all day and everybody be like no they turned me down so i don't understand why they are so concerned about me dating you like this is weird you know this is some sort of control freak they abuse their power it's like i don't i didn't want this person but i don't want you to have in pisces but you're going to find the courage to get through this like, okay, thank you for letting me know, you know, this, that, and the other. Now it makes more sense of why they're trying to cause so much confusion between us and using, even incorporating other people to do this. But um, also Pisces, it looks like if this is something that is job related and you're being, somebody's trying to, t you know, make you dislike the job or, you know, maybe not even accept it in the first place. You're going to find out why. And and I feel like this is going to be something where you may feel like, damn, is this a job I want to be on where I have to worry about people like this? Where I have to deal with petty, childish co-workers who group together to really judge me that harshly or cause conflict around me? Like they're in better positions than me. Why are they focused on me so hard? So I feel like there's, it's, you're going to have to make a decision. It's going to have to get to that point where you make a decision where either you choose to courageously deal with people like that on a day-to-day -day basis, or either you're going to have to courageously move on to a position that you feel like you don't have to deal with that, but you're going to make whatever, whatever choice you make. I feel like you're going, you know, what's best for you. So let me see what else is coming out from a Pisces. What else? Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So there is going to get a point, get to a point where you're going to have to make a choice. You know, um, I don't know if maybe, maybe you're going to feel like this person should have told you ahead of time that they tried to, if this is relationship based, they should have told you ahead of time before things got so bad with all of this sort of, you know, competition and conflict and the malicious lies being told on you. Maybe you feel like they should have told you ahead of time that they tried to date this person prior to dating you, you know? Um, 
So that may be a decision that you have to make. You're going to trust your intuition. You may be feeling like, like, are you still attracted to them? You know, uh, you know, what was it about them that you liked or, you know, that made you want to even date them or something? Because it sounds like they turned you down. But if you had the opportunity, you would have dated them or something. So there may be some sort of decisions that you have to make because of this. Um Maybe this person feels totally different now. They're like, okay, that was then. This is now. I feel different. You know, I'm into you. You know, people change with their likes, grow. It, it changes, whatever. Um, but whatever, I feel like you all are going to be at some sort of, you know, when you have, you're going to have to make a decision on something. Now, if this is job related, like I said, you're going to have to think about, do you want to deal with coworkers who can behave like that? Where there's some sort of ring leader who, you know, supports people telling malicious lies on you. Because that's that's really toxic management, you know. So if someone is comfortable, if a manager or a CEO is comfortable with having a toxic work environment, that speaks volumes, you know, because again, I heard petty playground. I feel like this pettiness is not, it doesn't make it a good. So maybe and with this five of wands, wands is fast moving energy. So there may even be a high turnover rate and you may be saying why it's a high turnover rate. You know, why people can't seem to stay, but it has a lot to do with the behavior of some some people who are sort of planted, planted, you know, there. That's weird, though, because, oh, my goodness, it looks like this is someone it has it's something ego based. And it's even someone in some sort of position of power. Like, I really do see they have a good position. So it's weird that they're so focused on your position. It's like they don't want you to accept it. But again, something is either gender-based or sex-based or something. Anyway, at the bottom of the deck, it says friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So Pisces, there may be someone uh, you're going to... So if this is, is, if this is relationship-based, I kind of feel like you and this person may get to that point where you know you build a good friendship like if this is relationship based where you're going to build a pretty good friendship with them and get some sort of understanding um of how things how they felt in the past and how they feel now you know i do see truth and clarity between you and this person this indecision here but you it is covering up the king of swords king of swords speaks the honest truth about things um the blatant truth you know, a lot of honesty. So this is going to clear up any sort of confusion, any sort of decision. You're going to have the truth to work with so you can make a decision. Also, Pisces, now, if this is job related, you may have um, picked up a few friends on the job outside of the the petty ones, you know, maybe you picked up a few good relationships where even if you decide to leave the job, these are people you can keep in contact with and kind of just build healthy relationships with them. If this is a job that you choose to stay on, I feel like you're going to make friends outside of this childish group or something. You're going to, you know, build up some good relationship because it's almost as if they don't want you there. So they're trying to spread really bad rumors on you or make you look bad or something. And that is so unprofessional. Wow. Okay. But whoever it is, is whether it's relationship based or whether it is um, career based, it does look like if it's relationship based, whoever's doing all of this, they're already married or in a relation, a long term relationship where they're they have someone who has upgraded their life. So I don't know why they're focused on who's dating you or who wants to, you know, date you or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, Pisces, that's the end of your reading. 
Thank you so much for please hit that like, share, and subscribe button for me. Show my channel some love. I'm sending love right back to you, amazing people, and I will talk with you later.